Hello all, this video is brought to you by Embedded Systems Learning Point, Linux 005. Linux commands for redirecting standard output, error and input. In this video, you will learn about output redirection, error redirection and input redirection. Okay. Uh, to give you a very brief introduction to streams in Linux or Unix-like operating systems, we have uh, uh, three streams. One is a standard input, standard output, and standard error. Standard input is a data stream going into a program or a process. Uh, this is often uh, input from your keyboard. So anything that you enter in the keyboard will act as a standard input. The standard output is a, a data stream that is sent to a display monitor by default. Often the terminal is the standard output. You see this terminal acts as a, a standard output. For example, LS iPhone L, this produces some output. You see, whatever you see is a output that is uh, streamed out to your keyboard sorry your display and the other thing is standard error so standard error is the destination for destination for all error messages from any process uh, by default it is sent out to display screen as it is done for the standard output so for example you have ls uh, iphone ls f uh, you see the ls cannot access this is basically a error message so this is also sent out to your display well this is a very very basic or brief introduction to streams in linux clear the screen okay the first we will see how do we redirect the the output stream to a file for example you see As I showed, ls iPhone L, this gives you uh, some output. This, let's say, you want to uh, send it to a file instead of displaying in in, in the terminal. So for that, you the uh, the syntax that you use is uh, the command ls iPhone L is the command, and a greater than symbol, and then you see a file. So if the file is not there if you if you see the file is already there so I'll create uh, just F if the F is not there it gets created if the file is already there it will be overwritten so that's how it works now I just see the content of the file you see uh, whatever the content it will be printed out and the, for your surprise the F that is already created that will also be shown and now we will see the pwd command and we direct this to f ls cat you see the earlier content is overwritten with the pwd co uh, contents or the output of the pwd into this file now let now we will see you don't want to let's say uh, overwrite the file you want to append the data so for that the what we can do is now we see the this is the content and uh, for this same file we want to append the output of this of uh, this command for that you have to use double uh, greater than symbols two greater than symbols and give the file name now you see I'll see the content of this file using cat command you see this is the first this this, this uh, information or data is already present and this is the result of ls l so this is how you will be able to redirect the the data stream that's coming out of the output stream okay and let's say you want to send the standard 
output of a command to the standard input of another command. So you can use the pipe character. So the pipe character is uh, uh, just a vertical line, I would say. To demonstrate that, I will take this command head and then I will see in the in this uh, file CPU information this is the content or the output data of this command so this I want to give input to to TR translate a to Z lowercase a to Z character to uppercase a to Z character you see the output of this command head viz is given the input as in sorry input to TR command so you can see all the lowercase characters have been converted to uppercase characters and then it is sent to the output stream so that's how you will send uh, output of one command to the input for the another input of another command so I create the screen and next we will see standard error redirection so for this I'll just demonstrate uh, so I'll I will demonstrate with the uh, uh, sudo apt get update enter the password okay in this these are the normal standard outputs and at the end uh, we invariably I mean sometimes we have we incur with some errors go to full screen okay you see these are the outputs and these are the errors so how do you know that it is an error so I will just reset as you know this I will st uh, redirect the only the output to uh, file 3 or uh, file output op And you see as long as there is no error you will not see anything whenever there is whenever you see error that is being displayed uh, into your terminal you see these are the error message and uh, I want to capture this error into a separate file so for that what we'll do is uh, one more thing I forgot to tell you is the the stream ID for the output stream is one that goes to this file and the stream ID for the error is two that I will save it to file for ER error and let the command execute so what is expected is in the file one op file output you see only the standard output and the file 2 or sorry file ER you will see the only the error message so cat file underscore output you see at, till the end if you see there is no error message that you got and in this you will see the error is being captured so this is how you will uh, see the or you will capture or you will redirect the error into a different file say for example you want to capture both the error as well as the standard output data into a put in into a single file so for that what you can do is I'll just demonstrate by saying um, update and now the, the redirection command and the file for output and ER same and here you will say you're going to redirect the error 
with the the stream id 2 also you and you're going to redirect the output stream as well if you enter what you will see is in this file file op underscore file underscore op and underscore here you will see all that is available or sent to the standard output and standard error will be captured in that file file underscore underscore error you see everything is captured here so that's the beauty of this uh, syntax so the syntax is just to remind you uh, the command and a redirection symbol or say greater than symbol and the desired file where you want to save and you will mention the the stream id of error redirect it reduction command and the stream with appersent symbol and uh, the redirection command or reduction uh, sorry the standard uh, stream id for the standard output which is one so that's about the standard error redirection and now let's see uh, how do you redirect the standard input so I'll take you a command like head so into this head is a command which takes input so it could be anything or uh, normally it's a file or, uh, or a stream of data so if you want to redirect the uh, the content to head or the command head you have to give less than symbol and then processes and CPU information you see this head takes input from this so uh, just to see what is there in the process CPU info you see everything in this is a process info and this data is given to the head in the last command you see head and the complete data is given and only the few lines as you know as we saw in the earlier video a head will give us only around 10 lines or the head of the file which is this is the output which you will get so that's how uh, you will redirect the input to or you will input to a, a command so I hope you understood how do we redirect the output, how do we redirect the error message, how do we redirect the standard input. You practice the commands in your computer and you will have a better idea about the same. Thanks for watching. For more videos, Thank you.